Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be my third, well it's going to be part three of my Bluetooth communication tutorial. Uh, we're just going to finish up, well, I guess there'll be one more short video, fourth, one more short fourth video. This is the third one, um, but it's going to be mostly done after this one. So we're going to create the connected thread class that manages the Bluetooth connection. So let's uh, get started. First thing we need to do is throw another uh, object up here and it's going to be our connected thread object. This is our connected thread object. Obviously I haven't made the class yet so it's red. There's our connected thread class and we're going to create a couple of variables here. First one being a Bluetooth socket and then our input and our output streams. It's all red. Then we create our default constructor. So there's our connected thread default constructor and then of course log it. Then we need to blah blah blah. Then we need to declare our variables up here. So our socket, our input stream, and our output stream. Since the connected thread is going to be managing the connection, it, it basically it's a point in time when it when we know a connection has been made. The connection is successful, so we can dismiss our uh, process dialog box. Actually, I'm going to put a little comment up here too. There we go. Now we need to get our inputs and our outputs from the output streams. So there's our input output stream and this is unhandled IO exception. Give me the try catch. There we go. And throw that guy in there. And then we need to declare our input output streams right here. We're gonna create our run method just like we did in the accept thread and um, connect thread. We're gonna create a byte array object that um, is going to be getting the input from the input stream. Then we need to create a, an object, an integer object, we'll call it bytes, that's going to read the input from the input stream. Since uh, we're going to be reading, we're going to be we're going to be reading bytes, so we need to use uh, integer. Then we're going to create a while loop that listens that listens to the input stream constantly. It'll, it'll just going to repeat forever once the connection is established, so it will just continue listening for uh, new information coming in. While true, obviously that will run forever. So there we go, and then we create a string. I'll call it incoming message. It's going to it's going to convert the buffer and the bytes into uh, a string message. And then of course log it. So it will log what comes in. So the input stream is going to read the incoming message. And we need to also surround this and try catch. There we go. And if there is an exception thrown, so if there's a problem with the input stream, we want to break the loop. We want to end the connection and we want to break the loop. So we'll put a break here. So that's all there is to it. Then we're just going to write a few other methods. Um, one's going to be the cancel method, just like we added to the accept thread and the connect thread. And we're also going to write a, uh, create a write method, which is going to be responsible for writing to the output stream. So I'll just do the cancel method first because uh, it's nice and simple and then we'll do the write method here. So the write method is going to be called from the main activity to send data to the remote device as I wrote in this comment here. So we're going to create uh, a string here from the bytes that we're going to send to the write method and of course log it and then write to the output stream. And it looks like we need probably try catch, yep. Uh, I actually care about putting an intelligent log here because I want to see uh, what went wrong with the output stream if something does go wrong. So we'll get the message. Actually, I should have probably put something good up here too. So we'll grab that. Error, error reading input uh, stream. So now the connected thread is all done. Um, we're going to create that method up here. Let's create a method there in there. I don't want it there though. I'm going to put it down at the very bottom. So there's our connected method. And just like everything else, first thing we want to do is log. So we have our connected method starting. And then we want to start the method to manage the connection and perform output stream transmissions and, and grab input, input stream transmissions. Okay, there we go. And then start the connect thread. So the last thing we need to do is uh, write another write method because this method won't be able to be accessed from uh, main activity. We'll have to write a, a write method that can access the connection service, which can then access the 
connected thread. So there's our second write method. We need to create a temporary connected thread object in it. Then synchronize a copy of the connection thread. Log it, of course. And then perform the write. Actually, I think it'd be simpler if I just did this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this one off here, but the Bluetooth Connection Service class is now complete. Now all we need to do is do a few finishing touches to main activity, but for the most part I'm just going to copy uh, what I've done in my other tutorial, so the Bluetooth uh, How to Pair tutorial. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll go over that in the next one. So uh, I'll, if you've come this far, I'll see you in that final fourth tutorial on Bluetooth communication. Thanks for watching.